Good morning, everyone. Steve here from the turtlefollower.com, and this is your stock market outlook video for this week of Monday, June 22nd, 2015. Hope everyone had a happy Father's Day. I'm actually recording this on Saturday, so if you guys happen to see this on Saturday, hope you have a happy Father's Day. Um, as far as the market goes, I mean, we, we pretty much did uh, exactly the opposite of what we expected. We had this uh, at the beginning of the week, or at the end of last week, actually, if we just step back a little further, we talked about how we came into this downtrend line, and then Friday we sold off pretty hard um, and potentially put in a lower high. Okay, We were concerned that we were going to start rolling over. We were below the 50-day moving average again. We were concerned we were going to start rolling over. And we also said that we were going to probably test this 2060 area, which is exactly where we tested all right, we're looking at the S SPX, which is different than the future, so the numbers are a little off. So on the SPX, we're looking at 2070. But uh, we did exactly what we expected in the beginning of the week. I just assumed we were going to continue through it just because of how quickly we tested uh, the that same level again. Okay, We tested it on the 9th, and then we tested it again on the 15th, not even a week later, tested the same level twice. Now that's, you know, obviously we're at the point where we're showing this as some pretty significant support. Okay, if you go back really until uh, the beginning of April, this has been tested one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times now, and each time it's held. Okay, so that's significant. Now, with the bounce off of that level at 2070, now the, the market, the SPX rallied, uh, looked like we were getting ready for a breakout uh, over this 2120 area. And then sure enough, Friday hit, and as we've said in the past, Fridays have been uh, down days. You know, the last, I think now, five or six Fridays have been down. Today was no different, down 11 and a quarter points. And now we're just kind of re-evaluate. And what I'm looking at is that we're just, honestly, we're just still in this range, okay? Uh, I would say we probably head lower this week just because we're at resistance if everything holds true. Uh, we probably pull back into the range a little bit. Um, the best case scenario is we spend a couple days up here. All right, a couple days up here. Maybe this whole week stays up here, and then we could break out uh, after uh, after that little period of consolidation. But for right now, you know, again, as much as it pains me to say, um, we're just in consolidation, and that's really all it is. Uh, we just continually chop sideways. I mean, we haven't really broken out of this range since that beginning of April and you can even see here that we've tested that that 2120 area uh, all the way back here in the middle of February and that ultimately is still holding all right we had this couple days of action above that level right here between uh, 518 and 522 we had about four or five days above that 2120 area other than that that's it Okay, so SPX, uh, I would say sideways to lower for this week. Uh, if we look at the RUT, it's the exact opposite. The RUT is actually breaking out from its consolidation. <clears throat> okay, so we had this move here on uh, on Thursday, a breakout to the upside. And Friday, look at the difference in Friday. Okay, not much selling, all right, compared to the SPY or the SPX. All right, so here I'm thinking the RUT probably sideways to higher this week. All right, I'm thinking the, the rut moves higher. Maybe we test 1300. Um, but you know, right here, if you wanted to trade this, uh, you don't really trade the rut. You could trade IWM, which is the equivalent of the SPY, to the SPX. And here's your setup. Okay, so if you you can definitely get some long exposure with the rut. Uh, I would say your stops down here around 120, or if you want to be a little more aggressive, 122. But definitely can look at trading the rut to the upside. Now, as far as the uh, the Dow goes, I'm sorry, the Nasdaq. All right, again, breakout to the upside uh, on Thursday. Let's remove all these drawings. Okay, breakout to the upside. You had this nice tight consolidation. You have this one, and you even have one that's a little bit tighter. All right, here's your trend line. So if you're, again, if you're looking at these just as you would any other stock, that tells me we want to go higher. Okay, so the Nasdaq I think is pointing higher. Uh, the way that changes, or or the level at which that changes, I would say is right here around five thousand. 
um, right around this 5,000 level, 5,015, uh, call it 5,000. We start breaking down below 5,000. Now we're breaking this trend line, breaking this smaller consolidation, which is right there. All right, and ultimately then I think uh, we potentially head back lower. But for the, for the NASDAQ, I would say uh, we're moving higher. And the last one, so the Dow is really just in its consolidation. It has been for some time. Again, you can see similar to the S&P, really since the beginning of February or end of February, uh, this is just consolidated in a range between 18, <clears throat> 18,280 and 17,280 or 6,680. Okay, so uh, again, I would just say that at this point, we're just continuing to move sideways. Uh, really not much going on in the way of any type of movement. Um, it's just, again, stuck in a range. So um, if you want to trade anything, you could go ahead. You could trade the, the IWM, which would be the rut to the upside. Okay, or you could trade the Qs, which is the NASDAQ to the upside. All right, either of those would be sufficient trades. And again, I think the two that lead us higher here are the RUT and the, the NASDAQ. As far as the S&P and the Dow go, um, I would say you know sideways to lower uh, is probably more likely. So we're going to see which one wins out this week. Um, can the Russell and the NASDAQ pull us higher or do the S&P and the Dow pull us lower? We'll find out. But ultimately, uh, it's a mixed bag of... of uh, the indices right now. I mean, really not, um, really not getting everything to line up all at once. And I think that's proving for some other reason that we're in this period of consolidation. Um, but as I said, I think the Russell and the Nasdaq composite uh, can easily go higher. Other than that, that's it for this weekend. Again, happy Father's Day to everyone, and we'll see you on Monday. Take care.